I uh, work on numerical methods for partial differential equations. Uh, so I work on electromagnetics, acoustics, plasma physics, uh, computational fluid dynamics. So I work in uh, C, Fortran, C++, uh, MATLAB, pretty much any language that I can get the, the task done with. So I worked with an undergraduate, Jeffrey Bridge, who's an uh, EC electrical uh, computing engineering uh, undergraduate major. Uh, within a week, he'd helped me actually master the language. Uh, within two weeks, we were running an effective uh, solver. The specific project is for an implementation of a discontinuous Galerka method, which is a high-end finite element method, which is very well suited for solving electromagnetics problems. Um, we have a GUI, graphical user interface, that we attach to our solver. We're solving the field equations for electromagnetics. In this case, we've just got a simple example, which is a waveguide. We're injecting some electromagnetic fields into the waveguide and uh, we push the waves through the, through essentially a wave splitter. Now the key here is that um, we, we had, we're very, very familiar with the, the techniques, the numerical methods behind the field solver, and that meant that um, we could actually quickly adapt our existing software, do a certain amount of refactoring, and make an efficient solver. Now we use a finite element method, so we fill this thing with, with TETs. So tetrahedral elements, there's quite a few thousand here. And then the specific discontinuous Galerka method, we actually put a lot of data points in each tet. And that makes it very easy to make this thing work effectively on the, on the CUDA platform. So we have maybe 100, 120 points in each, in each of these little tetrahedral 3D elements. And each of those points is we, we create a dedicated thread that takes care of updating the electric and magnetic vector fields at those points. So that works really well because the block of threads works tightly coupled in each element where all the data points are really tightly coupled. And then we do an update. Uh, each thread updates the, the field value. So you have a vector for this point, way point for electric field, this way for magnetic field. They'll be updated and then we move on. So we keep marching in time and keep updating them. So this is a completely different way of programming uh, in terms of the, the granularity. Of, if you just think of a regular CPU code of MPI, you would never have a, an MPI process work updating a single data point. But here, because of the specific CUDA model, it just naturally uh, falls that way, and it works very well. So we've worked on supercomputers, clusters, workstations. We're very comfortable with MPI. We even worked in PVM uh, for way back. Uh, I've been teaching parallel computing for a long time. I've teach, taught computer, uh, computer programming in C, C++. So I'm very comfortable with uh, traditional distributed computing and it was a little bit of a change to go to the, the CUDA platform but it didn't take very long. We ran into some issues and decided to build our own uh, little uh, sort of mini workstations with two cards we start and uh, it was fun. Uh, the undergraduates built, were, built this uh, workstation from components. We spent a, His task was give him a couple of thousand dollars, build this thing and get it working and then get the code working. And it, it just worked. We're really interested in seeing if we can bring different types of physics onto the cards. So this Maxwell solver is very simple, it's very straightforward. If you know about Maxwell's equations, it's, it's a very simple equation. But we want to go to nonlinear fluid dynamics, nonlinear plasma physics, and, and just create more, put more physics packages onto, onto, the, onto, the, onto the hardware.